Hi everybody, welcome to another video. This video is about how to create a smooth transition for a five-sided surface. So it's a neat trick to to use when you're working with um, five-sided five surface. So this surface here is five-sided and we blend it nice and smooth there is no kink for that surface so if I go edit the style feature so if you can look here there's one side two side three side four side and five sides so the mesh travels this way down and we want the mesh to stay that way so what I did was extend this curve down and extend it to bottom curve across to make a connect and we have a, this becomes a four-sided surface and then I'll trim this edge to make that um, fifth side so if I go to surface edit you can see it's a simple mesh that's what you want and also you click on this one as well um, you can see it's a simple mesh as well so we're going to look at how to do that on a, a another model so this is another model and I'll show you what the problem is when you make a five sur surface blend in style so I'm in the style feature I'll go create surface and we can create a five surface feature and it needs to connect so let me move this Price. all right so we go in and we create this surface again and you can see that's blending across blending across here but the problem is when you look at it closely so if I go to surface edit to check the grid mesh it's just a complete mesh of a uh, mess of grids if we create um, increase these um, grids it looks nicer but still has a problem of uh, not very smooth surface so what you want is uh, when you go surface edit a simple mesh like this here and it's flowing nicely so if, if I also go and look at it closely there's just a lump there it's not it's not uh, the surface doesn't look right and also there's, there's the other tricks as well they you can use other tricks to fix it as well but it doesn't connect properly so now I'm going to show you how to do it another way all right so what we do we just got to remove these surface and recreate them delete press delete to re delete on the keyboard I'll regenerate and I'll delete these curves as well So if you have a curve showing that way, you might need to break it up into uh, this section to break that up as well. So I'll delete that. And I'll go into my curve, I'll hold shift and I'll draw my curve connecting to here and also bring it down here. And then also I'll create my curve running across here. And if you when it travels across it makes a four-sided side, four surface this will help to blend much better alright so I'll just make fix the curve on this side ok so I'll just bend this up and I'll bend this back Okay, let's go accept that and we also let's have a look at the front as well I'll bend this in slightly and then I'll just adjust this edge as well I'll make this normal I'll make it normal to the right plane so it it's so it's normal to this plane this plane here so it blends across 
the mirrored side and we'll go to the top and this thing I'll, I want to make it traveling across and and um, concave down here all right so I'll have that and I'll create I'll go ahead and create my surface here and we can see that this shows that it's normal to the mirrored side and then one more thing this edge here we need to make this surface tangent to the surface so it blends across um, all right doesn't doesn't seem to let us make it tangent to this surface so we just need to rework this so we might need to let's try create the surface there yeah sometimes you need to recreate that curve and get it to be tangent here so it doesn't seem to be let you doing that so I'll just delete these bottom surfaces and we we'll, we'll just need to recreate those surfaces. I'll unlink that, and I'll link this uh, this curve back onto here. So what I did is just I uh, unlink and relink it, and so go to surface tangent, and now it works. So let's go to readjust that to make it. Um, fit well all right now we we'll go ahead and create that surface you can see that here it's blended g1 tangent and then we'll go ahead and do this the same thing on the bottom let me hide this All right, let's see, we'll create the surface, we'll see what happens here. All right, this dotted line means it's not tangent. So if we were to um, accept that and look at it. Let me hide these curves. Oh no. um, let me just create a thickening of that so when we look at this we can see that there's a kink line there it's not very smooth let me see if we can so there's a kink there that's not what we want so uh, we need to make sure it's tangent for each of the patch all right so what we we'll do we just delete this one and we go here and we try to switch make this to surface tangent if it doesn't let you do it so it says cannot create surface tangent what we do is we go in here we go to this connection we go unlink and then we'll I've got use this curve and hold shift and make it link to the surface. So now this curve is linked to this the new surface. We click on this point here and go to surface surface tangent. This one here. And now and now I'll go create that surface. And we can see here it's G1 tangent and we accept that and the last thing we do is we'll trim this bit here so we can go um, we can go create curve but this time make sure tick on create curve on surface so we can go here and here and then we go edit curve and switch that to G1 tangent click on the curve 
and click on this um, handle as well and make that tangent click on this curve to make a tangent with this curve and then we'll go ahead and we can trim this by selecting here select on, select on the curve and then we'll click on this part click on the part we want to remove click OK and now if you go to surface edit it's a simple mesh here it doesn't have a bunch of um, points everywhere and we regenerate and I'll just quickly create the rest of this and we can check the model to see how it turned out so we solidify and what's what's really good about this is when when you solidify you can use the round tool around the the corner of the eyes here alright so I'll flip that other side I'll make this four and accept alright when you look at it now you can see it blends smoothly this edge here we just got to fix that to make it blend but we won't go to that today so I'll we'll go around here and I'll click on this edge so if the surface blend well the round will work no problem let's make that 8 we can't do it too much so let's go 6 and I'll do a round on over here as well Alright, there you go. That's how you do a uh, five sided blend. That's a, just a technique you can try it yourself. Thanks for the watching, guys and girls. Have a great day.